just, I just told her to leave. She going crazy, like, swaying on top. So what happened, man? She basically just was mad that me and my son didn't want to have a threesome with him. On September 30th, 2022, Miami Police Department received a 911 call from a woman claiming to have been assaulted at a hotel. In the recorded call, she identified the alleged perpetrator as the rapper Spottom Got Him, who allegedly hit her after an argument. Okay, so I'm just going to enter the city and see the around and rescue the rock as well. Okay, so we got you. I just missed them. Yeah, I'm sorry. No, you good, man. I, uh, I guess I ain't getting fast. When officers arrived, they observed the rapper fleeing the scene in a C8 Corvette to evade arrest. Officers reported that the rapper almost hit a pedestrian walking while trying to flee the scene. I think she lives here. I'm not sure how it went. Man, over. Over. Yeah. Upside down. You got the rookie today? Yeah. 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 Whatever yeah. you need, I'm here. I already started ID. Okay. Yeah. Start by three and three, manhole cover. Let me on TV screen. Just let's do it. This one. So what what uh what took place? What happened today? Um, we literally just came back from um going out to KOD. I'm not from here. I've been here since Saturday. Okay, you're from Minnesota. Yes. Yeah. We and went to KOD, so we literally just got back. We were out, and then we ended up going to another upper spot. So we literally just got back. It hasn't been an hour. And uh, me and my friend, my friend, a girl, she lives out in West Palm Beach, Florida, but she came over to hang with me before I had to leave. At KLD? Mm-hmm. She came over here, actually, and spot him, which, uh, his real name is Nehemiah, the one who... So, okay, this guy is, uh, we're, we're going to refer him to him to Nehemiah? Yep, that's his real name. Nia? Nehemiah, N-E-H-E-M-I-A-H. Do you know his last name? Harden. Nehemiah Lamar Harden. His rapper name is Spottom Gotta. Spottom Oh, he's a rapper? Spottom Gotta. Spottom. Spot he doesn't say so he doesn't live here, right? He stay does he reside here? So what happened? Yeah. Um, he basically just was mad that me and my friend didn't want to have a threesome with him. And but my friend had already left. Her Uber came before mine. And I said that Uber I'll just sit at the airport early. I was leaving today anyways. I was like, I'll just sit at the airport early. She was like, okay, um, um, you know, she was like, okay, you good and stuff like that. I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. She said, you should have got your Uber at the same time I did then so that we both could leave together. Mm -hmm. I'm like, yeah, you're right, but I'm going to do it in a second. I got to finish um, packing up my stuff. Okay. And, um, so she left. So, yep, yep, so she left. You guys were already in the room at the time, right? Yep, upstairs at the okay. uh, apartment 917. And, um, so basically he just, he just was mad that. You guys didn't want to yeah, have partake in Yeah. Okay. okay. And I'm basically getting told to, to leave and stuff. I'm just like, you're really, you're mad because nobody wants to have right. a threesome with you. I'm like, I never did nothing like that before. I'm not that type of girl. So I'm you know, basically just explain to him that I'm not like that. I'm not that type of girl. I don't, I don't, you know, I don't do that stuff. He told you, you lame, you ruined my night, and, you know, like all types of, I've been dealing with Nehemiah for since. Since 2019, so I never had no type of. You guys been steady together, like both not steady together. No, because I live all the way in Minnesota, so not steady together. But on and off, like I'll fly out here and stuff and see him and stuff. So this was the first time ever of him asking me, of like a three song. So, so you live in Minnesota, so you guys are not really dating or anything. Yeah, like no, nope, not really dating. No, so you just guys see each other. Yeah, like, see each other. Was there, is or... there an expectation of like a relationship between you two or like? Mm, no. 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 Okay. And then, and then what happened? Because I heard there was a weapon involved or something? Yeah, I think one of their friends already took it out and put it in the, the car that they, had left, that, that they had left in. So there's no one in the room right now? Oh, yeah, there's people up there. They're his friends. His, this this might not be a 55, bro. What do you think? No, because there she lives in Minnesota and there's, she, there's no expectation of a relationship. That she just comes down, hangs out with him. I don't know if you know who Spottom Got him is. He's a rapper or something? Spottom Got him. Spottom Got him. Oh, yeah, everybody knows Spottom Got him. He's, that's him that beat you up? So he had a firearm, you said? 
What spot him got? Was it in his hand at the time that he beat you? You upstairs at 917? I just wanted to talk to him. Huh? I don't know. Oh, no, 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 I basically just feel like you're feeling me, but I'm like, I still need to pack my things up. So you start to grab my stuff for me, try to throw it out, and I reach for my bag, and that's what he with him. Hit you with a weapon? With a firearm? Or? No, with his hands. This is the he with, with his hands. He didn't pick up the firearm until after. Like, there was so much commotion going on inside where people were still trying to separate us. They just asked me to get pick up the firearm. He was still trying to reach for me to try to get me. But the firearm was in his hand, and I was like, oh, okay. I'm like, okay, so it was guns too? I'm like, right, So did he use the firearm at any any point in time to hit you with it? He was, it was just in his hand. While he was hit, so he hit you with the the, the hand that wasn't uh, occupied with the fire. He didn't point it at you and say, I'm going to shoot you or anything like that. No. Okay, when he hit you, how did he hit you? Did he hit you with open hand, close hand, or fist? Close, Literally, I got you. I got you. He has the rings, the diamond rings. Let me see your side of the head. Here. What's his name? Uh, uh, spot, his rapper name is Spot Em Gato. Nehemiah Pardon. Spot Em Gato. Gato. S P O T E M G. Is he well known? Well, I have no say no here. I'm sorry. You know his uh his legal name or his real name? Oh, no, near my near my heart. You guys have had a sexual relationship, uh, let's say the last six months, whether it's on or off. Yeah. Hmm? You said you've been seeing him since what, 2019? On and off. She might be your friend. So, so buddy, and buddy, and buddy, flat. He has to come and say what happened. Yeah, exactly. She's on the front of the house right now. Somebody that's seen it. I thought he needs to come back. What's your name? Again, my name is Ray. Ray. He, he should come back. If if everything that y'all are saying is what it is, y'all need to, he should come back. So that this. Huh? Why? No, I don't. No, no, no. We do. What y'all be watching too much? We do constructive investigations. All right. We find out who the primary aggressor is by your two accounts. Not that you know we don't have his account yet. It 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 appears that. To me, I'm not the primary officer, either. I'm a deferred to the primary, but y'all are telling a very different story from what she's giving you. I'm telling you what I see from the moment I got to see. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I got to see. 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 Buddy, come over here. I'm not doing an investigation. I'm not going to stay on that day. So he said it's time. So why? So basically, like, he telling her to leave, like, you know how when dudes be around female, but they, and like, all right, now you got to know when it's your go time, when, like, I don't want you around no more and stuff like that. So you ready for her to leave and stuff, man? She like, no, I'm not leaving. Like, fuck, you know what I'm saying? He like, bro, just fucking leave. And, and then he like, oh, no, fuck, I'm going to leave and fuck you. She, she went and bleached his stuff, like, she went and bleached his clothes and shit. So he like, yo, fuck you. And then that's when, like, that's when she she trying to leave by the door. She yanking him, pulling him, and all that stuff. Like everybody, like yo, stop. Like yo, you doing too much. This night, man. Even you can hear it on the um when she was on the phone call calling the police. You can hear the whole conversation. I'm like, um, look, listen here. This not your house. Just like we ask you nicely. This not your house. Stop yelling. Stop putting your hands on people. Just like. Just leave him alone. He's trying to leave. He got guns and then all that. I'm like, yo, why is you lying and all that? So like, you know how when females try to like, what is it called? Escalate. Yeah. We, and then like, on, why on the phone call? You could tell that nobody's touching her or anything. I'm like, listen here, please. Like, out of respect, this is not your house. Just tell the police, look, all he wanted you to leave. 
He's not touching you. He's not fighting you. You over here yanking him and all that stuff, like trying to pull him and all that shit. Okay, why did, then, why did my, I guess my question is, why did Buddy take off before he even talked? Because to him? he was thinking that basically, like, oh, if she called the police on me, oh, I'm gonna go to jail and stuff. He's thinking like that. So, so he like, no, nah, bro, the police, like, they go try to arrest me, so, so they go listen to a female. So perception, just, uh, this, just perception for the future. Him leaving in a Hellcat, out of here. When we don't have his side of the story, it doesn't do anybody any favors. Not him, not her, not us. You get me? Yeah. Obviously, you feel me? Uh, yeah. You're good friends with uh, Spot and Gala? Yeah. But every, just like I told you, like even on the phone call and stuff, when she called the police and stuff, you were here the truth and everything, and nobody was hitting her. I'm like, just out of respect. Out of respect. This is not your house. You can start yelling. You can start putting your hands on him. The man is trying to leave. Let the man leave. And then she, oh, they got a gun, they got a gun. I'm like, um, on a, you can listen to the uh, thing. So I'm like, I'm like, ma'am, we're talking normal and stuff. I'm, t I'm just asking her out of respect. This is not her house. Can she just leave and stuff? But she like trying to escalate and stuff, like as if like she getting beat up and all that stuff. She just tried to come talk to me because now she see that one, two, three, and then even the lady at the front desk. So all you guys were hanging out at KOD tonight. Yeah, it was at KOD. So yeah, and there was another girl also that left earlier on uh, before this incident took place by a friend of hers or some of that. I mean, either way, he should come all right. to all right. set us story. Because if not. We're only gonna have her, her side, side of the story. Yeah, the report's gonna get written. Yeah. Um, Alright, well, we're gonna end it right there. Yeah. So we're gonna have to get her up out of here. Yeah, she'll catch her. We'll go out of here somehow. Uh, Ray, how you doing? It's Officer Dolce. Hey, listen, can you hear me? Hello, it's going in and out. Can you are you able to hear me right now? Hey, listen, um, we spoke with our domestic violence detectives and we want to confirm if uh, if a spot for sure, because we're out here waiting, but does for sure does spot want does spot want not to press charges? Like he de verified that he doesn't want her to go to jail. Sure, put me on three way. We spoke with domestic violence detectives. Yeah. It doesn't, it, it's not gonna meet criteria because she only comes down a couple times in the year, doesn't live here, and no expectation of sexual um, copulation. So we're able to make it a simple battery, which we don't have to affect any arrest on. It'll be a simple battery because we don't have his side of the story. You see what I'm saying? If he was to get here and give us his side and his side aligns with what you said, we could make it an information report and no, and there would be no filing of charges at all. Shit up. So listen, we saw all that. We, we gave her the case card. Same thing with you, man. So I don't know if you want to press any charges or not. I nah, nah. I just, I just told her to leave. She going crazy, out. like swaying. Yeah, I'm trying to get on the elevator. So what happened, man? What kept going? Bro, we was vibing. We went to the club. We came back from the club. When we came back. Well, so I had two. It was her and her friends. And well, I guess we was going to have a threesome. She got mad. I don't know. She went through my phone. Well, I told her I told her I was going to leave. She said, you sent her Uber. So, boom. I'm like, I told her. I'm like, where you want me to send Uber at? And she was like, I'm not going nowhere. Well, she came in and snatched my phone. Like, put, put the Patron bottle to my head. I'm like, oh, okay, bro, I'm vibing. I went in there, I grabbed more, I snatched my phone from her. I went in, I went in front of her, I sat back on the couch. Mm. She came back up back in. I went in there. Mm. So this time I go in there, I'm like, what she doing? She in the corner. Let's say, I know I see she pouring bleach all on the shit. So I grabbed the bleach bottle. Right? Yeah. yeah. Look, it's on my clothes too. Mm -hmm. I grabbed the bleach bottle. Yeah, I grabbed the bleach bottle. I snatched it. Then she hit me, so I grabbed her like this. I pulled it to me. I get my chain hit her a little bit. But I told her, I'm like, stop, so I pushed her in the bed a little bit, boom. Mm. She grabbed me again, swung me again. I'm like, all right, bro. So I'm telling her, I grabbed me, I'm like, bro, just leave, bro. I'm like, you know I'm on probation, we're doing stupid shit. She's like, hey, we're going to call the police, we're going to jail, we're going shit like that. So she on, she on the phone with the police the whole time, like, oh, yeah, this nigga hit me, he did this, he did They got guns in here, no guns. Any guns that ain't registered? Look, you got access to the garage, like the parking and walk up, because I don't want you going through the lobby, man. She's going to crack this shit over. Yeah. 
So li listen, either way, like I said, I think my partner told you this, right? Oh, there she is. All right, you ready to go? She, she told you, she got you straight? All right, listen, just go on and go, go upstairs. All right. The rapper Spottom Gottam was eventually arrested and charged with simple battery, receiving probation as a sentence. However, this wasn't his last encounter with the law. Just a month ago, he was arrested for having an arsenal of automatic weapons in his vehicle after leading officers on a high-speed chase. Anyway, do you think the woman was wrong for calling the police, or do you believe she could have handled the situation differently?